yet. Um, but you sit closer to Cole, and he just looks over and, and he looks at you studying him and says, Is it strange to say, friend, that I feel as though I've met you somewhere before? I'm wondering if it's our grief that's really similar. I lost someone also, so I think we're both kind of maybe mourning a little bit and looking for answers. What 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 happened with your um your fiddlers that you mentioned briefly? They were the greatest in all the land. Nowhere in any of the realms of the never after. Could you have found three musicians more skilled? It's such a strange thing to be born into royalty and to be a king. So much war and bloodshed and yet Jubilee was small enough and seemingly tucked away from the matters of the larger world. It felt as though we had gotten away with something. A small and merry kingdom. We spent our time in festivals, harvests. The people were fed and happy and my days were filled with ordering plays and orchestras and l letting leave of the castle to any musicians or bards that wished to use it. And I, I certainly enjoyed my share of kingly amenities. I certainly uh, had a pipe collection, uh, many, many uh, parts of probably partook of tobacco more than I should, but it was a merry place. And I know that there have always been troubles in the never after that befell one place or another. But something feels wrong. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And it feels so cruel to say from a man who knew so little of hardship before the war came, but I couldn't shake the feeling that something was different. These times came. I took up the sword off the mantle, and there was a moment before I took the sword off the wall that I wondered if it would even come off. If perhaps it had always just been there as something that should have stayed. I'm sorry to take your time by the fire.